You're watching Football Daily and it's that time of week again where we discuss the biggest bits of transfer gossip. With the transfer window wide open, we'll be covering all the latest rumours from around Europe. As always, please tweet me with any rumours you've heard or seen and they may be featured in next week's video. Use the hashtag TransferTalk to me at Zach Jellub. And as ever, if you enjoy the video, please drop us a like. It means a lot and it really helps the channel. And if you've not subscribed already, hit that button. What are you waiting for? We begin in London for our first transfer rumour and we head over to Danny Dyer's favourite club, West Ham, where a certain Austrian wants out. Now it's not breaking news that Marko Anatovic wants to leave the London Stadium and according to the London Evening Standard, the Hammers will allow him to leave but in the summer, not this month. The East London team want to keep the 29-year-old for the rest of this season, even if he refuses to play, slapping a £50 million fee onto the forward. Which would mean that Shanghai SIPG, the Chinese club that is interested in the striker, would have to pay double that due to their tax laws over in China. It's quite obvious why Arnautovic wants to push through this move as early as possible. He's not getting any younger and it's reported he could be earning close to £300,000 a week. I don't blame him to be fair. Over to Spain now, where one of the strangest deals of the century has been completed. The signing of Kevin Prince Boateng to Barcelona on a six-month loan, with the option to buy for £7.1 million in the summer. The former Spurs man has been plying his trade over in Italy for Sassuolo, contributing to a goal every 156 minutes. Not too bad for a 31-year-old who's also been injured this season. Boateng, who can play as an out-and-out -out striker on the left wing or as an attacking midfielder, adds some versatility to the Blaugrana, who currently sit top of the league five points above second place at Letico Madrid. This transfer is definitely an odd one and I doubt anyone saw it coming, much like when Paulinho joined Barca. So expect to see Kevin Prince this time next year in China for £40 million. We head back to London, where Chelsea seem to be in yet another transfer merry-go-round, but this time the Blues could be getting the better end of the deal. Gonzalo Higuain touched down in London early this morning to undergo a medical and finalise his Chelsea contract, a deal that will see the Argentine join the West London side on loan for six months with an option to buy in the summer. And everything Sarri said in his press conference today indicated that the deal is all but done, a deal that will see the striker earn £150,000 a week. However, despite the club's best efforts, he won't be able to play against Spurs on Thursday due to missing the deadline. Higuain's arrival will then allow Alvaro Morata to join Atletico Madrid, ending his miserable 18-month stint at Stamford Bridge. The deal will see the Spaniard join Atleti on loan with the option to buy for £48.5 million at the end of the season, which will see Chelsea make an £11.5 million loss on what they bought the forward for. Morata may have come closely associated with Real Madrid, but he began his career in the youth system at Atletico. His family are understood to have flown back to Madrid at the weekend, with a striker expected to follow in the next few days. And finally, with Higuain gone, Milan need a new frontman. And congratulations to Christoph Piatek, who's joining AC for 35 million euros. The Genoa number no. 9 has scored 13 goals in the league in just 18 starts and started this season on fire, scoring 9 in his first 8 games. Napoli, Barcelona and Chelsea were all supposedly interested in the poll, but could not offer him the minutes that he wanted. Instead, with the number 9 spot needing a replacement in Milan, the 23-year-old has signed a 5-year deal at the San Siro. We jump up north to Manchester now for our next rumour, where United have seemed to join the race to sign one of Europe's hottest stars. Jao Felix is the name and you guys may start hearing it a lot more over the next coming months, with the 19-year-old killing it in Liga Nos, contributing to a goal every 81 minutes. The midfielder only made his debut for Benfica back in August and has put every major club in Europe on alert, with Benfica rejecting a £61 million bid from Liverpool for the teenager. It's very doubtful the Portuguese will leave the club this transfer window, but if he continues this very impressive form, don't be too surprised if you hear this man's name a lot more. Now, does anyone remember Adrian Silva? The Portuguese midfielder who joined Leicester City too late and so didn't play football for half the season. Well, after being at the club for just a year now and costing the Foxes £22 million, it looks like Silva is off to Bordeaux on loan, according to Le Keep. And the 29-year-old actually has some history with the club. Originally born in France, the midfielder spent a year at the academy before his family relocated to Lisbon. The deal is allegedly complete, with the club just waiting for Claude Puel to give the green light. 
And it's not surprising the move is happening, as the midfielder has only played two league games this entire season. From Leicester to Napoli now, and one of the stars of the 2018 World Cup, Herving Lozano, has a very big admirer in Naples. Carlo Angelotti said in a recent press conference that he absolutely loves Lozano, admitting he's one of his targets for the summer. Although rumours started circulating about a possible move this window, Chucky's super agent Mino Raiola was quick to rubbish them, claiming that the winger will finish the season at PSV. The 23-year-old is contracted to the side until 2023 and has already had rumours of a £35 million bid from Arsenal rejected. Along with the Gunners, Chelsea, Barcelona, United and now Napoli are all in the race for his signature. Just before we move on to our next transfer story, make sure you head over to FDFC and subscribe to the channel. You can watch us play football in our weekly 7 series where we try to show you guys that we can actually kick a ball at least somewhat decently. And you'll also be able to see us play FIFA Pro Clubs in our new series called Squad Goals. Plus, when we hit 25,000 subscribers, we'll be doing a very special episode where we play you guys and your friends at home. So make sure you head over there, leave a comment on the most recent video, and I'll try my very best to reply to every single one of them. But make them good. And remember to subscribe to it. Hit the bell as well while you're at it. It means the world to me. We jump right back into the transfers with a massive U-turn. For the longest time now, we've been telling you that Timo Werner will end up at Bayern Munich. But we may have been wrong. I know, shock. According to Bild, RB Leipzig expect Borussia Dortmund to make a bid for their star striker. However, the club are also looking to make Paco Alcacer's move permanent in the summer. So we doubt both will happen, as I don't think either will be too happy playing second fiddle to the other. The other more surprising move is AC Milan have joined Liverpool and Bayern for the 22-year-old. The German's contract is up at the end of next season and is playing hardball over signing a new one. If AC Milan are happy to pay the 60 to 70 million euro fee Leipzig want, they may just be able to get their man. But where do you guys at home think Werner will end up? Vote in the poll and let me know. To the story that never goes away and haunts me in my sleep, Eden Hazard to Real Madrid. This week, the Belgian told France Football that he was looking to leave the Blues after the World Cup. In the interview, he claimed he always planned to play elsewhere, but isn't planning on leaving the club this month. He carried on to say that he frustrates all of his managers and that the next coach he has, he'll frustrate them as well. But Chelsea fans, before you all start worrying, in the same very confusing interview, he mentioned that although he's won everything in England, bar the Community Shield, it doesn't mean that he wants to leave and currently believes he's playing his best ever football. Did you guys get that? Because I'm not sure I did. So that's the end of this week's transfer talk, guys. As I said at the beginning of the video, make sure you tweet me with any transfer rumors you guys see that I haven't covered yet. And if you did enjoy the video, why not drop it a like? It really does mean the world. And click the video on screen right now, which will be the FDFC 7s, where we are actually all right most of the time.